Oklahoma and the Sac, uh, from Sac State, and then just talk a little bit about Ohio to get started. Well, first and foremost, I saw a W. Uh, that's the most important thing. Um, I know defense left, though, we played pretty good for about 50 plays. Uh, when we kind of got stuck on 28, their offense saw some things and they made some plays on us. Uh, nothing that we can't fix. Another one deep ball on Justin Smith. That's just a, a little small skill receiver on a safety. You know, that's going to happen. Uh, the one deep ball on, on Jeremy Harris down the sideline. They had great coverage. Just didn't find the ball. So uh, they had a couple plays for their running backs. One on Treshawn Nixon. They had one on Bonilla. Those are just mental mistakes and just having bad eyes. So some of the plays they made offensively uh, late in the second quarter and third quarter, they're all fixable. Uh, it's not uh, where we felt like we got outmanned. It's just more of an IQ thing and, and it wasn't the scheme. Uh, the one thing I liked about what our defense did is when we got our three takeaways toward the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, it resulted into 21 points. And that's something that I was very excited about defensively, taking the ball away. So uh, was it an A game defensively? No. But uh, any time you give up 19 points uh, against a team that really understood how to throw the ball and, and did some things, I'll take it every week. Uh, offensively, you get 49 points, you take that every week too. Uh, our passing game was rolling. Uh, Manley had a great game along with Franklin. I thought Bateman. Uh, Jarrell Brown, those guys played well for us in the passing game. A uh, running game got, you know, didn't get started the way we wanted. That's that's another area that we need to improve. Um, but I got on the phones with Coach Mack, and it was the six minutes left in the game. I says, hey, if you can milk the clock for six minutes by running the ball, uh, steak dinner. Uh, so I think I owe him a steak dinner um, because we ran the ball every single time, and I thought that really helped. We were trying to milk the clock, but at the same time, it gave us a chance to work on our run game a little bit, and we had some positive runs. Uh, special teams, uh, the biggest improvement was our cover teams. That was a weakness of ours last year. We were using starters uh, on our kickoff team and our punt team, and it showed, uh, and we're going to have to continue to do that. Uh, I thought our punter had an all-star night, uh, 50 uh, yard average, uh, you know, you don't see that a lot in college football. Uh, I thought our kickoff <clears throat> guy, Baca, did a great job, just didn't give them an opportunity to, to return. So all in all, uh, it's a W. Uh, we'll take it. Uh, we're going to improve. We need to improve this week to beat a very good Ohio team, and we're just going to move forward. Um, in terms of uh, Andrew, coming off an injury uh, that he had last year, missed a ha nearly half a season, uh, seemed pretty confident in the pocket uh, in this game, our first game back after an injury. Can you talk about, a little bit more about Andrew? He's a thrower. I mean, that's, that's what he does. He's been throwing footballs ever since he was probably seven years old. So that's just who he is. He's a very confident thrower. He's blessed with a strong arm, so it's good that we protected him for the most part. And our receivers got open and he made his throws. He likes to throw it deep. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's a movie star. You know, so <laughs> most, most movie star quarterbacks like to, like to get deep, but he's good at it. You know, and, you know, I always tease him all the time. Hey, look, the check down is not a, not a bad thing either. But he's good at throwing deep, and he has receivers who can go get the ball for him. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I just hope he can keep throwing him deep and we we'll keep catching him. Coach Walker, speaking of quarterbacks, Tyler Tettleton is a good one. You're facing <clears throat> him this week. Um, it seems like in order to slow down that team, you have to slow him down. Yeah, and I'm, you know, my eyes are red trying to figure this guy out. But he's, yeah. uh, he's a very good player. Um, he's a good runner. I think he's improved his passing from last year. So we're going to have to figure out some things, not only in the passing game, but to try to cage him up and keep him in the pocket. For your philosophy, Coach Walker, like you said, he's a runner and a thrower. What do you try to take away first when defending a quarterback like that? Do you try to take away the run game first? What's your philosophy? Well, you know, I can hear Bill Belichick talking, and he says you always want to make guys play left-handed. So he's a six-foot quarterback uh, that's dangerous running, so you, you, know, you like to keep him in the pocket and make him have to beat you throwing uh, like a drop-back quarterback. Sure. 
you know, so we, you know, we got to cage him up, but even more important, he's good with the quarterback run game. So we, you know, that's a concern. So he's, he's uh, over 50, 60% of their offense. So if we can contain him, we have a chance to win the football game. And in terms of your all, in terms of their offensive line and your front seven, um, have you been talking to your D line, your linebackers? That just seems like it's going to be a key area of this football game. They have a physical line. Oh, no question, you know, but it's not like we're playing against, um, you know, USC's offensive line either. You know? mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. You know, these guys are mid-level offensive linemen, and we're mid-level defensive line, so um, it's going to be a challenge for our guys, but we're not going to back down from uh Speaking of the, the sack state game going back there, how's your health right now? Pretty good. Pretty good. We got a couple of guys with some nicks that may need a couple of days, but nothing uh, that we won't be able to, to handle and, and get these guys back for the game. So nobody's out uh, right. at Ohio? Okay. At this point, no. <clears throat> In terms of Ohio, uh, you met him last year at the Memorial. We got to see him last week, uh, a win over Penn State. Uh, just talk about Ohio and what you've seen. Solid football team. Again, when you talk about their offense, they have a solid offensive line. They got a very good quarterback. Uh, I like the little running back. I call him Little Rocky Blyer, number 22, for for the guys in here who remember Rocky Blyer. Thank um, you. He's a he's a tough runner. He's a good football player. Uh, their receivers are solid. You know, they're physical guys and they catch the ball. So um, we're gonna have to play off to the best game uh, of the season this weekend. I mean, from a defensive standpoint. Frank Solich has always seemed to have kind of mentally tough teams back to his days in Nebraska. Uh, to go win in uh, college uh, or uh, in at Penn State is takes a, a bit of a strong team. Is that what, what's your experience with Frank Solich and, and teams that he's uh, he's coached? Well, he's a very good football coach. You, if you look at his record, I think that that says it all. Um, I don't want to get too crazy. It's, you know that Penn State team is not the Penn State when uh, Coach Paterno had all these great teams. So, but. You still have to give them credit. You know they went in and they beat a Big Ten uh, team. So did we last year. Um, college football every weekend's different. You know, so we're going to go in uh, not being afraid and hopefully we can beat a good Ohio team. Coach Walker, I mean, you talked about the running game a little bit. I mean, you mentioned defensively there were some mental breakdowns and those are correctable. The ground game, how important is it to establish balance? You know, we hear that word all the time in football. How important is it? From an Aggie offense standpoint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from an Aggie offense standpoint, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Well, well you know, again, um, this is not out of, out of disrespect to Ohio at all, but when you look at their size up front and look at our size up front from a size standpoint, you know, I think we're, we just have to execute. You know, because we have, you know, 300 pounders on the offensive line. I know they have one tackle that's 250, their ends are 260. So from a physical standpoint, in terms of our line, we're going to challenge them to be able to run the ball. Last year, they held us to six yards rushing. And I, I think our offensive line and our running backs are tired of hearing it, but it is what it is. So we're not going to back down. We're going to try to bring some physical this, uh, this week as well as uh, their football team. Are you going to stick with the same running back rotation? You know, we'll mix it up. I know, uh, you know, Robert Clay... Uh, he missed practice yesterday, and we won't, Robert, we won't tell him why, right? Uh, but, um, so, we, you know, we're going to get him back healthy. But we're fortunate to have four four backs. So it's like anything else. May, may the best man win who's ever hot. That's the guy we're going to go with. But obviously, Robert is our starter, and we feel good about our other three backs. Anything else for Coach? Great, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.